What's up guys, so you may already know that a 5.2 Zabbix version is already released for a while and uh, actually it's even 5.2.1 already. Uh, I do have a video about uh, what's new in a Zabbix 5.2 in my video channel and will also link it to this video, so after watching this one, go ahead and watch that one. But uh, this video will be about so how you can actually upgrade your existing installation which may be uh, 5.0 or 4. something or maybe 3. something to the latest release of the Zabbix of the version 5.2. First of all, like I did not do any preparation, so I did not even test it. Uh, we'll be basically doing a clean upgrade and we'll see how it goes. So I have a 5.0 Zabbix version and I have a CentOS 8. Um, actually, like if you have existing your your existing installation on the CentOS 7 currently there are no official packages available of the CentOS 7 later there might be but still if it is possible i highly recommend to uh, move to the CentOS 8 and since there is no basically clean way how to upgrade your CentOS installation I just recommend to create a new server on a CentOS 8 and then just uh, migrate your database and spin up Zabbix server there. Why? Because CentOS is very old it has uh, limited packages in the repositories which are not updated anymore and even if you use all the latest software and packages from official repo then it's not going to be enough to uh, let's say successfully run all of the functionality of the 5.2 as example the TLS 1.3 will not be available uh, database encryption will not be available so it just it doesn't make sense right so if you have that chan chance then please uh, spin up the CentOS 8 and it will be much easier so about the upgrade like if you have a uh, default let's say official front end official server from the packages you don't have any customization patches, you don't have any custom functionality or edited PHP source code that you want to save, then it's pretty straightforward. So I have a CLI and uh, what I would highly recommend you to do aside of watching this video is uh, open the documentation, uh, then installation and there is upgrade notes for the 5.2. So this page will basically tell us uh, what can we expect uh, after this upgrade just so we are aware of everything. The minimum required PHP version has been upped from the 7.2 to 7.25 which again most likely will be an issue if you'll be trying to do this on the CentOS 7 so CentOS 8 is a winner. Uh, user roles there is a new permission system so your existing one will not be broken but uh, remember that uh, <clears throat> you can assign a different permissions different roles to your existing users so it will be very handy in the new installation so check this time zone definition if you are running your front end with a multiple virtual hosts you can delete all of those and configure everything natively in the front end refreshing unsupported items so if you had to do something with that that again will behave differently you can check out here uh template screens converted to the dashboards so if you had some screens you need to find them in the dashboards now and a session of the front end right now is stored in a cookie so nothing special but if you will do an upgrade you will still have to log in um, again inside the front end providing the username and a password so all right so getting back to the upgrade what do we actually need to do is uh, let's check the upgrade procedure in the documentation upgrade from the packages and it's Red Hat Enterprise Linux sent to Wes before upgrade make sure to read the relevant upgrade notes that was the page that we just uh uh, just we're visiting and again some information the following upgrade notes are available so if you're doing it from the old version so first of all what we need to do is uh, stop this Zabbix server and I will be doing basically the same commands here so let me move it here so we need a system CTL stop Zabbix server what else? Uh, stop Zabbix proxy if you have them. I don't have any Zabbix proxy, so we can skip that. Back up the existing Zabbix database. It is very important. I will not be doing this in my test installation because it's absolutely clean and empty Zabbix server. But you in the production definitely must make a backup because there is no rollback functionality. So if something will break and you will not have a backup by hand, then it might cause some trouble. So if, if you don't have ability to test it in the dev environment, then just 
make a backup of the database. Uh, backup configuration files, PHP files, and the Zabbix binaries. Well, I would say that this is kind of optional. Again, as I mentioned it in the beginning, if you have uh, everything official, official front and official server, without any patches, without any customizations, then why would we backup them? Like if we will again need a default uh, 5.0 uh, front end files, then we can just download them from the sources or install uh, from the repository as a package. So if you have patches, yes. If you have everything official, then I would say optional. Update repository. So these will be actual steps. So right now in this, uh, my CentOS 8 CLI, I have a repository of the Zabbix 5.0. So there are no packages for the Zabbix 5.2. So I need to actually upgrade the repo, RPM uh, minus upgrade uh, and the new URL. Uh, then I usually do yum clean all and yum make cache just to make sure that the repository uh, make cache just to make sure that the repository will actually be picked up and we will uh, see all the new packages of the version 5.2 um, that's not mandatory so sometimes it might be fine but otherwise if you don't do that and there is issue like you could be upgraded uh, repository then uh, typing like yum install or yum upgrade zabbix 5.2 2.0 and it will say that a package is not found so this will take i don't know for how long like uh possibly i will cut it in the post no it's already done so we can continue uh next <clears throat> That's it, like we can actually perform the upgrade. So remember, like if you're new to the Zabbix and this is your first upgrade, you don't need to do anything manually. You don't need to run any database upgrade scripts. You don't need to manually change or adjust the schema of the database or do whatever else. All you have to do is upgrade your packages and I will be just copy pasting this. So what we have here is Zabbix server MySQL because I have, uh, in my case, it's actually MariaDB database, Zabbix Web MySQL and Zabbix Agent 2. That's the one I have running here on my uh, installation. And uh, yeah, we can add minus yes to automatically confirm everything. This will again take uh, some sort of the time so that we can see all the dependencies are pulling in the Zabbix server MySQL and upgrading and upgrading, cleanup, verifying, and complete. So right now, if I will check uh, Zabbix server minus capital V, you see that I have a 5.2.0 version. Cool, right? And uh, so if I would go to the database right now, I will still see that it is a 5.2.0. Uh, uh, 5.0. Oh. And what else do we have here? So if using a Postgres, substitute MySQL with Postgres, yes. To upgrade the web frontend with Apache on RHEL 8 correctly, also run this one. So this is another step that we need to run. And uh, just copy paste. This will again ask for the confirmation. Yes. So I'm confirming and completed. So now basically all that I need to do to start the upgrade automatically is systemctl start Zabbix server. And after this, if I would check the log file of the Zabbix server, and you should also do during your upgrade, uh, let me actually do the less, uh, less here. So see, uh, when I started the new uh, binary, which is from the version 5.2, uh, in the log file, I can see that the current database version is 5.0 and we need uh, 5.2 required mandatory version. So that's why the Zabbix server package is starting the automatic database upgrade, which just runs in the percentage and we get to 100% database upgrade fully completed and all the process is started. Right now we can also I think we need to restart HTTPD and uh, PHP uh, FPM simply because those are still running while we uh, upgraded the packages and I can check in my front end. Uh, hopefully uh, you must log in that's uh, as I told you because the cookies are stored differently so admin uh, I don't actually remember the default one it was capital admin and lowercase Zabbix. So there we go. Logged in, we see the same dashboard, but this time it is a 5.2.0. And also a new features like administration, user roles that we can add. 
and uh, yeah, like this is it. This is the 5.2.0. Oh, and this was all the installation that was required for it to run uh, successfully. Again, if you don't have any customizations, any like uh, complicated uh, customizations to your front end or the Zabbix server binaries, this is super straightforward process. And uh, of course, I do respect that in the production, you must be uh, more careful and you need to test it out in the dev environment. You need to make a backups, of course, of the everything. But honestly, the upgrade again is straightforward. So there's no big need to worry about it or being afraid how to upgrade your installation. So I definitely recommend you to try out the new Zabbix 5.2 and I'm 100% sure that you're gonna like it. All the new functionality, so just go ahead and if you have some sort of the questions about the upgrade process, as usual, you can ask them in the comments. But for this video, that's it. So again, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, press that like button. You can find a lot of useful links in the description and we'll definitely see you in the next video. So goodbye, guys.